All right. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday. Happy Monday. It's a brand new week, and I'm Anna Gibbs. So this is your weekly dose of Monday Morning Mojo. I just want to welcome you back. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to Monday Morning Mojo. You know, I'm so excited that you've decided to join me and make this a part of your morning routine week over week. My intention really is to support and inspire you to live well, to live a bigger life, to be more successful in everything that you do personally and professionally. And, excuse me. And for a long time, you know, I've been using this platform to connect with you live on Facebook and use this as an opportunity to create community as well. And I am so excited to say that we're going to be uh, transforming Monday Morning Mojo into a podcast. So if you have not heard the news, you will be able to subscribe and download to Monday Morning Mojo with Anna Gibbs and follow uh, each week as new episodes drop. So please go to whatever source you use to listen to podcasts and uh, find Monday Morning Mojo with Anna Gibbs and please subscribe and share this with your friends. I'm really excited about, you know, creating a bigger platform to reach out to everyone. And I just want to say thanks for your encouragement too. So this morning, let's talk a little bit about what is important to you? And this was a conversation that came up last week in one of my staff meetings. And I thought it would be a great topic for us to talk about here on Mojo. And um, I, I want to talk a little bit more about discovering your purpose. And I know that that can seem daunting for a lot of us. And it may be simpler than you think. So when we talk about discovering our purpose, I think it's about acknowledging that we're all here for a reason. And we're all here, I think, first to figure out what our purpose is. So ironically, that's step one, uh, is to get purposeful about it. And for us to understand what it means to say we're discovering our purpose. And I just wanna say right up front, like our purpose can change. Our purpose can be different when we think about what drives us in our career. Our, our purpose can be different when we think about our, what drives us in our relationships, right? In our personal goals. And, you know, it's really about just connecting with what fulfills us, connecting with what fulfills us and what creates meaning in our lives, what creates meaning in our lives. And so this morning, I'm going to give you a quote by Mark Twain. <clears throat> I love this quote. The two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. So maybe today could be the first step in helping you figure out why, right? Because the longer we put this off, the longer we put off getting some clarity around this, then the, the bigger the distance is between what we're doing now and how we can connect to something much more fulfilling. And I think that, you know, this is an opportunity for all of us. It doesn't matter how old we are. It doesn't matter um, where we are in our career. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. It doesn't matter, um, you know, what stage of our life we're in, because I think that this is really an important opportunity for us to get clear about what just gets us going, right? Like when we talk about Monday morning mojo, well, what is going to give you that mojo? What's going to give you that I'm going to jump out of bed and feel good about what I'm working on, feel good about what I'm doing, feel good about how I'm contributing, right? And so the quicker we can identify what gives us purpose, then the faster we can get to the business of doing it. And I think it's about just knowing that it could be many things, right? It's just many things that give us that purpose. It doesn't have to be, it could be, but it doesn't have to be that one purpose statement. I mean, it took me a long time. It probably took me until I was, you know, well into my 40s to get super clear about this. And I feel that one of, one of my purpose statements, what I'm really here to do is inspire people to take action. And it could start by inspiring people to think differently, because when we think different, we can do different. So I know that's true for me. I know that's true for me and how I show up really personally and professionally. And so 
when I got clear for that uh, purpose statement, when I got clear for myself that it was about inspiring people to take action towards something bigger, towards their goals, that's when it got easier to understand that my purpose could be, you know, in the role of a coach. Um, in my purpose, you know, in business got clearer about how I show up as a leader, my purpose in relationships, my purpose in businesses, right? That my gift is not just motivation and inspiration, but my gift is to, um, I believe my gift is to ask powerful questions of people and get them to think differently. And so when you think different, you can do different. And then that's what brings results. And I love that. I love seeing aha moments on people. I love getting into coaching and consulting conversations. I love helping people and guiding people towards, you know, actualizing their goals and seeing the results. But it was probably, I was probably 40 years old when I figured that out. Now, I, I look back and I showed up that way a lot of times, but I couldn't really articulate it. So I just want to say, like, for those of you who are in your 20s and this is like overwhelming, don't let it overwhelm you. Just figure out, start to be aware of what brings you joy. Start to be aware of the things that come easier to you. Just become aware of what you're attracted to, right? So whether you're 20 or 60, this will be true. And that's really what starts to get us to understand a little bit more about our purpose, right? Because you will feel the joy, you'll feel the passion, you'll actually get more curious, right? To want to know more about uh, how you can engage in those activities, right? Or how you can move closer to those things. And, and at the end of the day, my loves, the only one who knows your life is you, right? You are in charge of the path you take. You are the master of your fate. And if you feel that you're ever not on the right path, you can change it. If you feel like you are not getting that, that fulfillment, you feel like you're missing something, ask yourself more questions, right? You can make choices every day that might reveal really powerful things to you, right? Because I think our lives are the sum total of all of our conscious and our unconscious thoughts, right? So it's just a matter of getting more aware of some of those thoughts and how we make decisions and what our beliefs are and just what our attitude is every day, right? What our attitude is every day, all of which is in your control, all of which you have the ability to control to master uh to make decisions about right so you can decide what the calling has been placed on your life even though i do believe that there was a divine anointing for you i believe that you know the universe god the divinity has given you certain gifts right that that when you start to connect and reveal those gifts to yourself can it's kind of like putting a puzzle together you start to understand more about how those gifts can work together to align with your purpose and how you can use your purpose, right? So that's how we create our own reality, but it is done in partnership, right? We're manifesting and creating in partnership with the universe, right? So, so the universe is here to support you. The universe is waiting for you to acknowledge all these great tools that you have, all of these gifts, right? Because all of those things start to become really apparent to you and how that relates to your purpose, right? So if we have the power to create it, we always have the power to change it. I'm going to say that again. If we have the power to create it, we always have the power to change it. So you don't have to feel stuck. And I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but if someone's feeling stuck, I'm here to share with you, my love, with a big hug, that it's probably temporary and you have the power to make some choices and make some changes and start moving in a different direction. You have the power. Now, it starts with being aware and it starts with then acknowledging whatever it is, right? So you have to know that you can't change what you do not acknowledge. We have to be able to say, yeah, this is what's going on, right? So before we get better, we have to get different, right? In order to discover and align ourselves with our purpose, we have to discover more of what drives us. So 
here are some questions you might want to write down, you might want to think about later, journal, right? And, and I get it, for a lot of us, this is, it might even seem a little overwhelming or you might sit and stare at a blank piece of paper, but I'm gonna give you the questions and I think if you could take some time and give yourself the time to sit and, and answer them, it would reveal a lot to you. So here's the first question. Where does your passion lie? Or more simply, what gets you excited, right? What are the things that you naturally gravitate towards? So where does your passion lie? What gets you excited? Where do you find your attention going? Those are powerful questions to ask yourself. And then the next question would be, are you living in that space right now? Are you actually engaged in enough things that fulfill you on those levels? Are you um, engaged in the activities that bring you joy, right? And another question could be, are you working in your strength zone? P.S. Do you know your strengths? See, these are really important things to work on. This is a lot of, these are a lot of the questions and things I work on with clients and coaching, right? Is helping you identify what are your strengths? Because if you can get clear about your strengths, then you have the ability to work in your strengths zone more often. And when you do, things fire on all cylinders. You're working, you know, at a higher capacity because you're, you're more capable, right? When you're using your own tools. So put your attention where you want to go right? Put your attention where you want to go, not what's not sitting right with you. Um, instead of putting so much attention on what doesn't feel right, put more attention on where you want to be and where you want to go, right? And yeah, so maybe this is a little bit of work, but we're worth it, right? We have to put our, our time into the greatest project that we have, which is ourselves. Because your thoughts have so much energy, Right. And we know that everything in this world is energy. Um, you know, we are energy. And so when we put some energy around this, really amazing things can happen because energy can never be destroyed. It can never be created. It can only be transferred. So you have the ability to, to like harness and bring in energy that the universe is waiting to deliver to you when it's in alignment, when you're in alignment with who you are and what you're here to do. Right. So finally, the universe is like, yes. Yes, they're finally figuring this out, right? And so that's where this, this like spark, right? This, this spark in your imagination, this spark in your thoughts, right? All that energy is what's going to create opportunity for you. And so, you know, in your thoughts and imagination, your imagination is so powerful, right? Who, who are you meant to be? Let's talk about this for a minute. Let's go into your imagination for a minute. Who are you meant to be in your imagination? Hmm. Right? That vision of yourself, the stuff we say one day, someday would be nice if I could. Well, I think that if you can see it in your mind, you can have it in your life. I believe if you can see it in your mind, you can have it in your life. So if you could believe more in your own vision, if you could start to get in alignment with what you're thinking in your imagination, if you start to create a, a plan around what actions you have to take to get closer to that vision, if your imagination could become intention, what kind of person would you be? How would you start to achieve your goals in a way you haven't done it before? This could relate to anything. It could relate to career growth. It could relate to health and wellness. It could relate to your finances, your relationships, right? What kind of person do you want to be in all those areas? What are the things you want to achieve? What are the things you want to experience? What if you could just stand in that power more? What would life look like for you? I know this is, you know, a lot on a Monday morning, but that's what this is about, my loves. This is about getting you going this week, right? And I want you to think about this. Now, I know this takes courage. It does. It takes courage to really, it takes courage to really be who you were meant to be because it's easier to just let life run over you sometimes, right? But we need to look at life as opportunity for creation, right? It's about you putting your thoughts and actions together so that you have this energy 
that brings in the purpose. It brings in the clarity. It's about really acknowledging that your comfort zone is just keeping you stuck, right? Because I think if you want to really truly pursue, excuse me, truly pursue a life of purpose, then you have to be willing to step out of our comfort zone. We have to be willing to say that where I am right now, this little box, it feels safe, but everything that I really want is out there. Everything that I really want is outside of the comfort zone. Because when you stay stuck inside the little box, you're just diminishing your capability, right? You, you are staying in a place that feels safe and in control, but you're not stepping out into acquiring new skills or, or setting new goals or you know growth, right? And so we have to be willing to look at what is keeping us stuck in our comfort zone, right? It could be um, something around our self-conscious awareness, our confidence, um, but our comfort zone is really not as comfortable as you wanna believe. I mean, let's get really honest with each other. It, it's, not that, it's not that comfortable because we know that we're stuck. We know that we're stretching and striving for something out there and it doesn't really feel good to get stuck in there, right? So remember, you're never stuck. Whatever you're experiencing right now is temporary and you have the power to put one foot outside. You have the power to stretch your comfort zone, make it a little bigger, right? You don't have to be stuck in there. And because if we want to truly get clear about what we're here to accomplish in this world, then we have to be willing to face our fears. And stepping out of our comfort zone can feel scary, but it's an opportunity for us to really stretch and to really grow, right? So this morning we've been talking about how to understand more about purpose, how to discover what our purpose is, how to inspire ourselves to move closer to it. So I want you to think about this purpose as a compass, right? It's gonna guide you. Um, as I shared with you earlier, as I got clearer about my purpose, then it was easier for me to know what to say yes to and what to say no to. Because if an opportunity showed up that didn't line up with what I thought was truly my purpose, it really gave me pause and I was able to say yes or no. So your purpose becomes like a compass. It can guide you through life. It can keep you centered. It can help you stay clear on what really matters most to you, right? Because you're living your life. No one else is living it for you. So you get to decide what you want from life. And whatever it is, the, the movement towards achieving that, listen, it may be simple, but it's not easy, right? I'm not saying that it's not going to take work. It's going to take work and it might take a little time too. But here's the thing. If we make this our life goal, imagine the amazing things we can accomplish as we grow more and more, as we become aware, as we start to be open to possibility and we start to you know, learn new skills and, and connect with people. There's so many amazing things inside of you. It's just waiting to come out. It's, it's kind of like being pregnant, right? For uh, as long as you decide, right? But you've got to give birth to all of these things in your imagination that you know really line up with your true purpose. So I'm going to give you a little bit more information on how you can get clear about this about your purpose, your passion. Um, I'm going to uh, share with you something that I shared once before, I think here on, on Mojo, and uh, we'll, we'll give you the download for this too, so you can work on this. But um, there's, there's something that I found many years ago uh, that I thought was great in, in helping people find their purpose. And um, it's, I hope I'm saying it right, it's called Ikigai. Uh, it's a Japanese term. And uh, I guess to loosely translate this, it means uh, a reason to live. Ikigai is a reason to live or your life's purpose. And so what it does is help you look at a few different bigger areas of your life. So if I give you four areas of your life, um, if you want to write these down, and I'll share the diagram, as I said, it'll be a download on um, our Facebook group.
But if you could look at these big areas of your life, number one, what do you love? Just what do you love? What do you love to do? What do you love to read? What do you love to get involved in? What do you love? Can be in many areas of your life. Just jot them down. Number two, what are you good at? Okay, what are you good at? What comes easy to you? Uh, what do you do without a lot of struggle, right? What you either now get paid for or what you can get paid for. Okay, so we're talking now moving this into a professional context, right? So if you're really good at leading people, what could you get paid to do, right? So you could start to think about things in, in a leadership capacity, okay? And then the fourth one is, what does the world need? What does the world need? So it's what we love, what we're good at, what we could get paid for, and what does the world need? When you get clear about all four of those areas, then you can start to figure out where they intersect, right? So listen, this is probably something that requires a little thought. And this might even be something that you need a little help with coaching or guidance on. But if you could actually take the time to sit down, put pen to paper and think about those four areas, what you love, what you're good at, what you can get paid for and what the world needs, would you start to see what your profession and vocation look like? And maybe you'll find that you're already in alignment with that. Or you might find that that little voice in your head that's been telling you that you could be doing something different starts to make more sense to you, right? And I'm not saying you're gonna uproot your life overnight, but this could be the beginning of you making some different decisions and choices and goals, right? Because we can move and change and make decisions to you know, um, take on new opportunities anytime that it makes sense for us. So that could reveal a lot about your profession and vocation. When you start to take a look at what you love and what you're good at, that starts to identify passion for you. And when you look at the intersection of what you love and what the world needs, that also could start to identify more about your own mission or vocation. So by looking at these four areas and how they intersect, you start to get clear about your passion, your mission, your profession, and your vocation. And by working on this, you can create even really small goals. It could be about a new book you want to read or a podcast you want to listen to. It could be hiring a coach. It could be, um, you know, getting more exercise, right? Like it, it really could start with very simple, small changes every day that could lead to really big outcomes. But again, all of this is because this journey you're on, this life that you have, you only come here once. So if you have an opportunity to get more clarity and to create a little bit more control over the process of how you live your life, that's just jumping in the driver's seat of the car. And I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy driving. I want to I want to drive and I want to create the path in front of me. So that that model um, may be something that you want to work on those questions. Right. So, again, what do you love? What are you good at? What could you get paid for? What does the world need? I love that. So when you start to identify those connections, it's going to reveal something really important to you. And it's going to give you the inspiration, I think, for you to be able to figure out more and more what your purpose is. And, you know, I just want to speak to another group of you out there who probably know your purpose, right? Who feel like, I'm pretty clear. I'm pretty clear about my strengths. I'm pretty clear about what sets my soul on fire. I feel like I am really in alignment with that. And I'm working and living in a way that really um, allows me to do that. And that's amazing. And I'm here to tell you that there's always something more. What's the next level? What's the next level for you? If you are on your path, what could you do that would be even more fulfilling? What could you do that could help more people, that could inspire more people? What could you do that could really make a ripple effect and create positive change? You know, this podcast is for people who want to do more. 
This podcast is for people who are striving for something different. This is for people who want to live life maxed out and out loud. So what is next for you? So I trust that you got what you needed out of today and that you have some work to do. I trust that there's at least one question I asked this morning that you want to sit down and really work on. So make a point to put some time aside today and invest in yourself and to do just that, to work on that. I want to thank you guys for being here with me every week. And I want to thank you for listening. Um, I would love for you to share your ahas on our Facebook page, which is Monday Morning Mojo with Anna Gibbs. Um, Continue to grow that community. Would love for you to share that with your friends, especially if you find so much value in this, please give it away to other people. And again, this is going to be a podcast uh, and the first episode is going to drop on August 7th. So I'm looking forward to uh, creating a bigger platform with all of you and uh, taking my passion to another level. So thank you for that. And I appreciate all of you. So you have a powerful week. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much.